Okay, so I'm back on my uh, <clears throat> DRAC controller screen now. So I've got my VMware software downloaded. I've got the ISO images I need. I need to basically mount one of those ISO images as a virtual media device and then boot the system off it. So I'm going to log in as root and demonstrate a common problem that's associated with mounting virtual media. Now I'm using Internet Explorer here because DRAC 5's uh, it's quite old technology now. Um, <clears throat> And it works better with it seems to work better with Internet Explorer than the modern browsers such as the later versions of Firefox and Chrome. So um, that's basically what I've found anyway. Now one of the problems that you get is if you go to media, it tries to install an ActiveX control. So you say OK, install. And then it basically kicks you out. Back to the login page. Now it seems like this is quite a common problem. Now I've already added um, this DRAC card as a trusted site. You can see down here. I'm not sure if you can actually see it, but the little green tick bars ticked, the little tick box has ticked, basically saying it's a trusted site. Um, so that obviously relaxes some of the security, but it's still not enough. So I think what we actually need to do is go to Internet Options, go to Security, um, and you need to pick, pick the zone where this system is resides so I added it to trusted sites you can see here here's the IP address in my trusted site uh, click custom level and then scroll down until you see ActiveX controls and plugins and then where you see automatic prompting for ActiveX controls you need to change that from disable to enable Hit OK. And you say yes. And then OK. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure if you need to restart Internet Explorer, but let's try it. See if it makes any difference. If it doesn't work, then I'll try a restart. So let's go to media. Ah, there we go. Install. That's what we need. So it's installing the virtual media plugin now. Right, now we're in business. So what we want to do is mount a CD stroke DVD drive using the ISO image that we downloaded. So let's mount, let's use the um, VMware ISO that I downloaded. So the folders. VMware DSX. There you go, VMware VM Visor Installer. <coughs> okay, so I've got my ISO specified. Now click Connect. Okay, so it's now connected. Right, so this is where the fun begins. Let's go back to the remote console. So there's my console. And now we need to reboot, reboot the server. And hopefully it will boot off the ISO and start installing VMware. So let's send a control alt delete and see what happens. Can I make that bigger? Okay. Let's see if it boots. So I might have to check the BIOS, check it's going to boot from the CD.
Right. Didn't work for some reason. I'm about to go to the BIOS and check. So I'll, I'll do another video, see if I can find out what's going on.